How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to be continuing reacting to My Hero Academia Season 2. First of all, as always, just a massive thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel. We continue to keep growing this community and it's all down to you guys spreading the word, showing all this love for all the videos and it really, really is appreciated, especially with this My Hero Academia series. You guys seem to be really, really enjoying it and it just keeps growing and getting better and better. So guys, thank you so much. As always, our Discord is forever, ever growing and we're always looking for new people to come and join our army. The link to it is down in the description below. It's a place where we talk about absolutely everything from manga, anime, games, TV, music, whatever it is. We talk about Pingu a lot as well. Much love to Pingu. So if you do want to come and join in, link to it is down in the description below. Also, if you would like to be ahead of YouTube and would like early access to double episode versions of all these videos, my Patreon is now live. The link to that is down in the description below. Um, as you're watching this, we're, we're actually probably weeks ahead um, now at this point of this. So if you want to go and catch up to where we are and binge load, there is down in there um, in the description where you can find all of that. But also we have exclusive Patreon only series, Discord server roles and the lot. So yeah, check that out. Link to that is down in the description below. So in the last episode, things got a bit crazy. We saw who was getting tied in these one-on-one -on -one, uh, battles that we've got in this kind of final round and we've seen Deku has now kind of frozen it looks like his mind's been manipulated or he's been like he something's happened to him just as this fight was about to start against this guy in class B I forget his name but I'm sure in a moment we will find that out again but it happened beforehand because two of the people that were part of this this enemy's uh, cavalry both had complete memory loss and they actually said we don't want to be a part because we don't know how we got home we don't deserve to be in the next round so this is going to be interesting to see what Deku does and how how this is going to go down and I'm really really pumped also to see some of the other fights because Todoroki and Deku can come up against each other if they both win these fights and so that was going to be crazy as well and also best girl is apparently going to be fighting back ago so again uh, that's a tough one like who, who do you root for back you know best go but back goes also you know the, the the real g so we'll find out but without further ado let's get into it so if you haven't already hit that like button it really really helps me out hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on but most importantly sit back relax and let's get into it oh he failed the practical exam He's like in a trance. Furimite Sonoma Jogai Made Aruite. This is mental. But that's a really, really interesting quote because, yeah, he might not have anything physical that he can really do. That's why he didn't pass the original physical exams. But the fact that it can still be used so effectively that it almost nullifies even people with the greatest of physical quirks. So this is intense. I don't know how long the brainwashing like lasts for or like how, you know, what it, how, the, the length that it can go to. Like what can it actually, what can you make people do? Like how far can you push people? But this, this is mental. Ugh. Oh, right, okay. So it'll only brainwash you if you answer his question. Um, I don't remember Deku answering a question, but i mean perhaps he did maybe he did um but that that's interesting so even though he knew about this in advance he he still managed to lose to it you know he still succumbed to it so that's one hell of a powerful quirk oh it knocked him out of it yeah, but how is he gonna get a shock when there's nothing around him? Like he's literally in a platform and there's nothing around him. And no one can intervene, surely. What the hell? What's happening right now? Right. 
What the hell? I don't understand how what, what triggered this. How? I might be really, really naive here, but he was completely in trance and all of a sudden he, he managed to use his quirk. But how? Because he was in a trance. He needed something to snap him out of it so that he could do that. So I don't understand what it is because we, we saw like some shadows down that that tunnel. But what what was that? Like something, was that a, an external entity that kind of, that made that happen? That snapped him out of it so he could use that quirk? I'm a bit confused. I might be naive because you might be sitting there screaming, looking at your screens right now. I know the answer, but I don't know. That just went right over my head. Just go over there and just beat the shit out of this dude now. Just go over there, flatline the dude. Go on, Deku. Oh Yes, that's the same move he did to back ago. Hell yes. So that was cool. So he kind of got reversed and then he kind of used the momentum like he did with Bakugo in that first, uh, it was like that that test that they did when he was partnered up with Beskel and he kind of flipped her over. That's, and the fact that they actually panned and showed Bakugo then, I don't know whether that was just like a nod to that earlier move because it was exactly the same. He used the momentum to flip him over. But interesting, I want to know more about the past of this quirk. Was there people with previous generations to all my that had that quirk and because there was more than one person so when he mentioned the fact that there were other people behind the quirk that might have influenced that i would love to know a little bit more about that and hopefully we do find out a bit more で、頭にもやがかかったような感じになった時、そのもやを払うかのように幻覚が浮かんで。オールマイトのような目をした人もいました。あれはワンフォーオールを紡いできた人。オールを掴んできたっていう分かりやすいシール。というと、あれはワン
well, trainee heroes. Eventually, there are going to be villains that are going to be even more powerful. So eventually, he's going to have to tap into that side that he inherited from his dad. So it's going to be interesting to see if he will need that at some point. Oh, is this the tape guy? Yeah. Go and freeze up the tape. That look on his face. What the hell? She have to say, I give up, surely. Just like that. That looks so easy for him. Christ, what an ending. Seeing Todoroki just go mental like that. Which, but it looks so simple. And the fact that everyone in the crowd was so shocked. Honestly, like, don't get me wrong. I know Deku is our main protagonist. And apparently he becomes the greatest hero ever. And he is always pulling out clutch like shonen you know what i mean but i just don't see how he ever ever beats todoroki in a fight and that's who he's got in the next round so i mean this is going to be really really interesting i'm absolutely hyped to see what's going to happen next i don't know if we see that fight in the next episode or if we're going to see back go um in his fight next but even that i'm super pumped to see how they go against because we know what Bakugo can get like you know he gets crazy and he, he's probably going to get hot-headed and you know best girl's got a really good ability on her a uh, quirk on her as well and i'm sure she she seems quite intelligent as well and she's got a lot riding on the line as well so that's going to be a really really interesting fight but let me know if you can see any two people pitted up against each other what would be the dream fight so far out of all the characters that we've got up to here in season two who would you like to see is it going to be Todoroki and Deku? Because for me, I just don't. I just think that that probably will be the best fight. Or do you go Deku and Bakugo? That would be another awesome fight as well. But that is absolutely everything for this video. So guys, if you have enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up button down below. It really, really helps me out. And also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell on to make sure you don't miss out on any content. Also, I am on social media as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch as well. I'm planning to start live streaming on there soon. So the link to those are all down in the description below. So make sure you give those a follow. And also, if you do want to be ahead of YouTube and would like access to early access double episode versions of all these videos where we're weeks ahead, my Patreon is now live down below in the description below. We have a bunch of other cool stuff there as well, like exclusive Patreon only Discord server roles and only uh, Patreon only series and stuff like that so there's a bunch of cool stuff down there so if you want to check it out the links down in the description but that is absolutely everything for this video so until next time guys i'll see you soon peace